Donald Trump warned his critics in an interview Sunday that they'd better take it easy, and cautioned that they are dangerous for the country. He blasted the language and radical ideas of people from the other side. I hope the other side realizes that they better just take it easy, Trump said on the Fox News program, Sunday morning features. Because some of the language used, some of the words used, even some of the radical ideas, I really think they're very bad for the country. I think they're actually very dangerous for the country, he added. Trump was responding to a question from the relentlessly flattering Maria Bartiromo about recent criticism against Trump and members of his administration. She referred to, you're lovely. White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders, who was recently told to leave a Virginia restaurant, and actor Robert De Niro, who said, fought Trump, twice, from the stage of the Tony Award presentations last month. Trump warns his critics to, take it easy, eyes, I hope the other side realizes that they better just take it easy. They better just take it easy b, see some of the language used, some of the words used, even some of the radical ideas I really think they are very bad for the country, picked out twitter.com slash 1v5 pico 6z, Aaron Ruper, at a trooper, July 1, 2018 Another critic Trump likely had in mind was Rep. Maxine Waters d, Caliph, who late last month called on protesters to continue to confront members of his administration over its harsh immigration policy. Trump in turn tweeted that Waters had an extraordinarily low low IQ, and warned her, be careful what you wish for. She said Trump's attack increased the number of death threats against her and taunted at a Los Angeles rally Saturday, if you shoot at me you'd better shoot straight. Trump's comments followed, massive, families belong together, protests across the nation of tens of thousands of people demonstrating against his zero-tolerance policy concerning undocumented immigrants and separating migrant children from their parents. The president also said in the Fox interview that if recent calls to abolish ICE succeed, people will be afraid to walk out of their house. He said if Democrats continue to push to abolish ICE, they're gonna get beat so bad, I think they'll never win another election, he added. So I'm actually quite happy about it. He also praised how tough ICE is. In a tweet Saturday, Trump boasted that he had watched ICE liberate towns from the grasp of MS-13 gang members but didn't detail where there might have occurred. Asked if he was going to quiz his picks for Supreme Court justice to replace Anthony Kennedy about their stance on Roe v. Wade, he responded, that's a big one. Probably not. He said he's looking to choose conservatives like Neil Gorsuch. Trump's list of prospective nominees, however, was created with the help of the Conservative Federalist Society, a think tank deeply opposed to reproductive rights. Trump also boasted about the economy, which has been on an uptick since the Obama administration and said he's considering shaving another percent from the corporate tax rate which was already sliced last year from 35 percent to 21 percent. He called the tax cuts incredible and boasted of his biggest ever production of regulations. There's still more regulation cutting to do, he said, but the nation will still have the cleanest water, cleanest air. Download Do you have information you want to share with HuffPost? Here's how.